Hello, welcome everyone, and welcome to all my Geminis. Please like, share, and subscribe to my video. Um, I'm going to be doing a mini general love reading for Geminis for August 15th through August 31st, 2019. Sun, moon, and rising. Let's see what's going on for our Geminis. Okay. Jump right into the reading. Okay, the first thing I got is the Six of Swords. It came out reversed. So some of you might be having trouble coming out of like, or dealing with somebody from your past. I feel like, you know, when I get the Six of Swords reversed, one of the things to be mindful of is you know, make sure that you are your eyes are wide open in regards to this person. It could have been like you could you could be going through like a little bit of a, a stormy patch where you're just feeling a little bit restless in around relationships and very overwhelmed. Maybe some of you feel a little bit trapped and stuck in a relationship and it's just not progressing the way that you want it to. So there's definitely a need for um, this situation to be evaluated if this is you and or your partner um, or I don't know you feel like you're a little bit stuck the next card I have is um, the ten of Pentacles so some of you might be a little bit focused and around your finances right now or you might currently be in a long-term relationship where you're just feeling like it's just there's even though there's security and stability, it's not, there's some, some things that are need to be addressed, but I still feel like there's a solid foundation when I get the Ten of Pentacles, um, and it is a conventional relationship, like it's not a, um, friends with benefits or whatever, some of you might even be married for my Geminis, um, and Geminis mostly do like to be really kind of calm and, and carefree around the situations um, with the relationship they also need their time and their space so really important so the next thing the next card that I have is um, the Knight of Cups reversed again this could be somebody that you're currently dealing with maybe um, some offers or proposals for this relationship have uh, haven't come forward yet um, this person that you are dealing with could be um, could be very charming <laughs> um, and a little bit romantic but at the same time they could be a little bit sharp with their tongue so I feel like some of you are going to be leaving a relationship because there's just been too many struggles for you guys. So you are definitely evaluating your situation um, and looking at maybe other options to kind of get out of this. I want to say I don't want to say it's like a toxic relationship, but I feel like it's it just went from a very happy committed relationship and then suddenly this person is just really not doing what they're supposed to do in around the relationship again this could be you or you know your partner that you're dealing with the next card that I have for you guys is the page of one so there is definitely some movement um, that is going on and around some of your relationships and a lot of changes where you know some of you might be I feel like there's going to be some good news regarding um, relationships and a lot of communication is going to start coming in um, for you guys so some of you are going to get a little bit more playful in around the relationship and also maybe if there's someone new that you start talking to and you're like text messaging 24 7 because that's what we do now in relationships um, by the way I don't um, recommend that <laughs> text messaging a complete uh, relationship but I know it's like the new fad. Um, the next card that I have is the Tower Reverse. So this is showing me, you know what, even though there's some changes that are coming that have already been uprooted and are forcing you, like the universe is kind of forcing you to make some changes that are needed in around your relationship. So try not to delay the inevitable. Like if you're avoiding maybe a loss in a relationship and you're not ready to let go of it, um, definitely look at the situation and see if, you know, if this is really the right 
relationship for you. I feel like there are going to be some breakups for my Gemini for the last two weeks of August. Um, because you're getting to the point where you're looking for that new exciting energy. Um, and this person hasn't really um, been attainable to really give you the relationship that you wanted and you needed. So you're moving on to something a little bit better. Um, and there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So you feel like things are starting to move forward and definitely um, a lot of you are going to be meeting somebody new. So the next card I have is the Knight of Swords Upright. So this could be your new person that's coming in. For my Geminis, um, you're overcoming. There's some big changes that are occurring in around your relationships for my Geminis this month. You're overcoming these obstacles. And, you know, some of you might be, um, might have been waiting for some time for something, something new, something better to come in, in around you. But I will let you know that this person is very direct and to the point. They're honest. Um, they can be a little bit talkative. Maybe that's where that, all that text messaging comes in. Um, but it's definitely somebody who, um... is going to jump in with both feet. And you have actually, some of my Geminis have been waiting for this. They've been waiting for this more committed um, relationship. So you might be thinking about leaving a, a situation right now that you're in and starting new with somebody new, someone else, because this person comes in strong. They kind of swipe you off your feet. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Nine of Swords reversed. Again, a light at the end of the tunnel. Um... With the Nine of Swords reversed and following through as we go through this little mini reading. Again, it's not going to resonate with anybody, but it's like things around your relationship are coming to light. So you're starting to see, okay, this is working, this is not working for me. And you're ready to kind of just get out there and just take that chance. So some of you might be, you might be the guy, the, the energy that's around this reading that you're going to jump in with both feet and say, okay. I'm ready to rejoin the world. I'm ready to get back out there. Um, let go of those feelings that are making you not feel so great and just kind of breaking free. Um, instead, instead of the energy that you have been dealing with, which is kind of like beating yourself up a little bit um, over some of the things that have occurred in the past. But I do feel like you guys need to give yourself a little bit of break, do some time healing, and also find that middle ground for yourselves. Um... Because there is somebody um, definitely new coming into your life. Okay, let's see what we have. Our Oracle Angel. Let's do one Oracle Angel card for my Gemini. August 15th through August 31st. Sun, moon, and rising. Let's see what our spirit guides would like our final message to be. Okay, never alone. Wow, okay, guys. So some of you might be jumping in from one relationship to the next. Um, just remember not to jump, you know, jump out of a frying pan into the fire. Be, be mindful of where, what you're jumping into. Um, with the never alone, you are supported through all of the challenges that you're going through at the moment. So look for signs of, again, this, this presence that's standing right behind you. Because you, you have, you know, there's a lot of little coincidences and things like signs like so definitely look for those confirmations that are surrounded by you that you are being loved and also if there's any divine messages that are coming towards you because i feel like some of you will actually see the signs and say okay i'm never alone this is also about your inner strength to keep moving forward and just have the faith of all the things that will fall into you know basically your lap I feel like some of you are just going to have things just fall into place very easily um, towards, you know, for the next two weeks. So you guys have some good things coming up for you. And I feel like the sun is going to shine and rise for you guys. So Gemini's, um, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Again, if you would like a personal reading with me, my information is listed below. Um, regarding your relationship, a more in-depth reading, because this is just a general. I hope that some of you were able to resonate with it, and 
least be able to connect. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. I do read all of the comments as well. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light, everyone.